we're doing now <clears throat> is I'm going to be setting up my uh, buddy pole and uh, this is for 20 meters and I'm going to be setting it up for the closest to the QRP single sideband calling frequency as I can. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the buddy pole chart here uh, that kind of shows how to configure it and I'm going to set it up for 20 meters in a dipole configuration. Uh, now this is an experiment for me. Then I'm going to flip it into a uh, vertical dipole with the uh, ground going off at a 45 degree angle. Now I'm doing this for two reasons. I'm going to try to get a little bit of a pattern on the radio out of the antenna that I usually get. Uh, but I also want to see what kind of uh, effect it makes on the antenna just by switching it and having to manipulate uh, it around a little bit to, uh, to get those SWRs for the frequencies. Now I do have an MFJ antenna analyzer, so I'll be taking a look at that uh, both in the dipole configuration and the uh, vertical dipole configuration. So let me uh, show you getting this thing set up. Okay, I'm going to be doing this real time so you can see how easy it is to set these, these antennas up. So here we go. Okay, so here we are at the first uh, setup, and you can see I'm shooting for 14,285, uh, 14,285, and my lowest SWR comes in about 1.7, uh, 60 ohms, and I'm at 14,150, so I'm a little, I'm a little bit short. Um, now I'm not going to make any adjustments for my final uh, transmission yet because all I want to do right now, since I know my lowest frequency, I'm at 1.7 SWR, 60 ohms at 14, eh, 180. All I'm going to do is I'm going to reconfigure the antenna into a vertical dipole and see without making any adjustments other than that and see what that does to my SWR.
other changes besides flipping that around. Uh, my SWRs have really increased. I'm now at 2.2 uh, uh, and 80 ohms. Let's see where my low point is now. Wow. See, uh, low point is uh, 2 uh, and about 70 ohms. That's the lowest. And that's down in the 1300 range. If I go up too high, I actually get an inductance error and a capacitive error, error and it just goes off the screen. So, the, the trick here is now we've converted this from a dipole, which is what the uh, instructions show, to a vertical dipole. And uh, the SWRs do not correlate, so we're going to have to make some adjustments and see where that comes out. Okay. Alright, so I've been playing with this thing for about 20 minutes and using all kinds of configurations, moving the whips in and out, both on the ground and on the vertical, moving them in in, in quarter whip increments, uh, both in and out, playing around different variations. And about the best I'm going to get SWR wise is about 1.6, which is not bad. But my resistance is down to 10 ohms, which my radio is not going to like that. Uh, if I get the uh, resistance up to about 50 ohms, that moves my SWR up to about 2.2, 2 .2, which is a little high. But what I'm going to try to do is, uh, since that's about the closest I could get it, uh, I mean, I got an analyzer and we just been playing all different kinds of configurations moving it up and down in height and as well and that's about it however uh, my intent my radio does have a tuner on it so I'm going to uh, leave it set up like it is and use the tuner to try to get a little bit closer okay so one last little follow-up <clears throat> now the only thing I didn't uh, we didn't try before was changing the angle of the ground and uh, I did some experimenting with that, moving it up and down. And I was actually able to get uh, at the frequency that I want, about 55 ohms, with a SWR of 1.2. So uh, the final uh, configuration is the vertical. Uh, let me get the paper out here and I'll show you the difference. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. I'm, the light's not real great here. On 20 meters, they have you at 4.5. I'm actually at 4.25, so I'm a little shorter. And then over here, we're on six. I'm actually at 5.25. All right, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.